Morning, Piggy. Morning, morning, morning. It's Thursday morning. Y'all be seeing a little bit of short video this morning from me. And you'll be seeing this on Saturday. Truck, you can't drive that thing. Oh. People can't take off two-thirds of the turn to cut it short to make it more of a circle than a turn. They can't turn anymore. I think they got their driver's license from Sirius and Robux or the Cracker Jack box. I mean, what? Nah, they just don't care no more. I mean, I'm guilty of it too. But when it's not possible to make that shortened turn, I can still make the turn no problem. You can tell these folks have a hard time. Yeah. Well, folks, it looks like we're going to have uh, tire trouble again. That's starting up again. Got going down the road today. And back, back left tire. Popped up. 28 PSI. Need to put some air in it. I see here about two, three weeks ago, I pulled them up on the dashboard thing to check on, see what they was at. Three of them was at 34, and that back left was at 32. It's like, okay, need to keep check on that. Well, this morning, we we're going down the road, and it pops up 28 PSI, and he there it is. Folks, that just shows me somebody messing around again. That's kind of sad. Somebody ain't got nothing better to do with their time than to mess with somebody else's stuff. <clears throat> Can't prove it. I'm going to go this way just a little bit because there's ambulance back yonder with the lights on. So I'm going to make sure they got enough room to get by me in case they go this way. Right yeah. Nope, they're gonna be going left, looks like. It's like, come on, people, stop for the ambulance. While well, he's going that way. We're gonna go this way. I'm gonna go this way. Take advantage of the moment. Yeah, we're going to go our usual way and then pop over. Sure. So anyway, we're going to run to the store. She's wanting some Pepsi. Yeah, I've been doing good. I haven't had... But it's one, been a while. I've had one a glass of Dr. Pepper. Didn't get a refill on it, and that was the other night. Yeah, I was going to say, it's been a while. Yeah. So I, I, but... Huh. And after that, we're going to stop over at Circle K. We're going to put some coins in an air machine and put some get, uh, air in there. I figured we go Circle K first. Well, we can do that, too. Okay. Circle K first. And uh, put some air in there. I checked it while we was up there at the daycare, and I didn't see nothing in the edge of it. I felt back as far as I could. It keeps being a problem. I'll, I'll uh, jack it up, take it off, and see if I can see something that way. But again, it could just be somebody messing with the valve and letting a little out here, out here a little out there. But it has gotten, it has turned off much colder at night so you know that could have something to do with it and there's something in it somewhere but either way it's somebody messing around with the tires you know i mean i know that might sound like paranoia talk but i've had too many examples of stuff i ain't gonna say nothing about it it's always that left rear Always to the left rear. That's one of the indicators. That's the newest tire. Yeah, because that's the one that got a screw put in it the last time. Yeah. 
So yeah, always the left tire. Folks, that, that's more than just coinkadink. I can understand if maybe it was the left rear one time, the front right, or the left right, you know, next time, whatever. <coughs> always the left rear. Yeah. Yeah. Had the same problem on the van. Yeah. It was always the left rear. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's somebody's way of letting it be known that they're doing it. But no, I can't prove it. Because I can't afford to put no cameras up. And everything, but you know what? That's all right. God's going to get them for me. I just let go, let God, and God takes care of it. And everything. And, uh, they wind up getting it worse in the end. Yeah, you know, had uh. Somebody that was supposed to take care of something for me one time, and they did me bad wrong. Well, uh, let's just say that we ain't supposed to wish bad on nobody and all like that and, and not take glory in the suffering of other people that have done you wrong and all like that. Because that person that was supposed to take care of something for me one time and and uh, became as much my enemy as anybody in that process. I stopped by to see him some years later. It was bad, folks. They'd done lost their mind, lost everything that was most important to them, and losing everything. And and all like that, but, you know, hey, now, I won't say it was just because of me that God was turned that person over and allowed them to be at the whims of the prince of this world, because I'm sure there were many other Many others that uh, this person had done way wrong. So they was reaping the, the consequences of their actions over a period of many years done to many people. But I'm just saying, it was bad. Yeah. But anyway, uh, y'all will have seen my little stool I got. I got Elaine's walking stick glued together. Now I need to just trim on it with my planer and round it off and maybe put it on a sander and maybe put some teeny tiny finishing nails in it just to make sure and, and then go from there. And, uh, but that's a step closer. I got rid of some cardboard had about four big boxes that I hadn't broke down completely yet. They were broke down, but they weren't. I, I normally cut boxes up, put them in the trash can. Well, these boxes were huge. Yeah. And uh, so I kind of snuck them up to the little rot down pile this morning. Got that out of the way. And, uh, after I work on her walking stick for a while, see if I can't get it closer to done and get my cane closer to done. My cane, all it really likes is the epoxy and and uh, find me a rubber foot to go on it. And uh, it'll be done. Well, then clear coat it. But, uh, that's all it lacks. I just don't ever feel like doing much of nothing. But we'll do that. I get those done out the way. I can pull that throw out that I was crocheting up for her and work on getting it done. 
that'll be three things out of the way and and then eventually see about getting out there and working a little bit on that van <clears throat> and uh, get that done Keep seeing that tire light down there. Boy, it's going to bug me. It's irritating. Yes. Yeah. You know. Because you know what it is. There ain't a thing you can do about it. Yeah. You know. But, uh. Again, God will take care of it. In his time. Hopefully that irritation will do what they said they're going to do on uh, one thing so that things start going down way south for months at a time so we won't have to worry about it too bad. If I could get steel covers for these things to lock them in at night when we ain't using them using the car <clears throat> I'd do it of course if I did that they'd just find something else to mess with so you know they feel like wasting their time being an irritant like that you know I guess that's on them they can waste their time you know, kind of had to shake my head about it. We almost saw a wreck this morning. That first four-way we stopped at. Was wondering which one was it about. And I figured it was, there was one making a left turn and one going straight. The one making a left turn was already almost all the way through their turn and one going straight. Would have hit them on the right side about the passenger door just behind it. So I we surmised the one going straight was the one at fault because they weren't paying attention. But I thought it was kind of funny. The person going straight just kept looking at that vehicle as it went on down the road before going on itself. You know, that's another way I know it was the one going straight because one in the wrong is almost always the one to look at you like you're stupid for their screw up. Yeah. You know, so there was that this morning. If, if they had connected, we would have been stuck there for a little while. You know, I'd have I'd have told a popo what I just said right there. Yeah. The one making the left turn was most of the way through with their turn, and the one going straight would have hit them about the passenger door or behind it. That would let them know right there the one going straight was at fault. And I told them the one going straight kept looking at the other one after it got gone like it was stupid. I said, I figured, you know, that's probably the dirty dog. Well, they probably just said, well, it's a, they'll call it a no fault or both at fault or whatever like they did. Well, that depends, that depends on uh, certain factors of who's driving. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I just come by when Hannah had her wreck, that guy that was yeah, in the but, turning lane went straight. Yeah, but... What wasn't that guy uh, one of those certain types of elements? No, it was not. He's an older white guy. I don't know. But it okay, well, he might have known somebody. Yeah. It was the one that hit Mama Hazel. That was. Okay, well, anyway, we ain't getting all the way into that. Right. Some y'all, some y'all know what I'm talking about, and all I gotta say is. Uh, there are some that don't get held accountable to the our laws because of a certain status they have. Yeah. And it's not because of being rich or famous or known or anything like that. I think y'all know what I mean. But anyway.
Anyway, so that was almost a little excitement this morning. This tire has been a little excitement this morning. It's like, oh, Lord, they back at it again. What they don't realize is that if we do wind up having to replace the tire, it ain't going to cost us but 70 bucks to put the warranty back on it for them replacing the tire because it's under a warranty. So, joke's on them. And we'd get it took care of and everything done and, and everything. And, okay, now y'all going, okay, going in the dollar store. That's really kind of a funky turn lane system right here. I'm just trying to figure out why everybody's at the dollar store because they don't know until 9 o'clock. Well, you know, never know. Could be rendezvous, could be mutual meeting place for uh, exchanging the kids for the, for the upcoming weekend or never know. Could be anything. Maybe they're getting there early so they can get all their stock put up so they don't have everything sitting in the middle of the floor. <laughs> Keep dreaming. I doubt that. That'd be like a fantasy come true. I'm playing. <clears throat> Every time you go into a dollar store, you have to kind of go around. Well, that's pretty money. much anywhere. Yeah. Once they open up for business, that's when they start bringing in stock and being in the way and all like that. Used to be when they could get people that would actually work, they could have a night shift and people come in and do the stocking and stuff at night. They don't do that anymore. Nowadays, pretty much any little place like that you go into, you ain't got no stock shelves. Everything's on them carts, still in the boxes. Yep. And the workers that are putting it up, they act like you're the one getting in the way. And doing wrong by getting in the way by wanting to come in and shop and get what you need to get. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. Yeah, what's funny is they got what, like four or five self checkouts that they got closed down. And they got the one that the cashier works, but half the time the cashier somewhere else in the store, you can't find nobody. We'll have a cashier working the customer service and the one regular cash register, and then have all the self checks. Opened up. My son at Dollar Store, they used to have like oh. four or five self checks. And now they got to keep, they've got stuff piled up with self checks to keep it from self checking. Yeah. Oh, I've noticed at the convenience store, if you go up to the cash register, mm -hmm. they got all sorts of extra stuff that they're trying to sell you sitting right there. So you've only got about a foot, foot and a half of space to put your stuff in and do your mm -hmm. interaction and all that if you're lucky you know they want to sell all this product and they want to give you no room in order to pay for your stuff you know so if they got self checkouts too and they're trying to get people to use those yeah, you know, the next few months, next two months are going to be really bad because Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas, all right there together. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to do it like this where I have that back tire right there at it. Of course, I might hit all of them if I got enough time. Well, if not, I'll finish them up with my air pump at home and everything. But anyway, folks, we're here. We got to do stuff. Biggie loves you.